Hello members and welcome back to another segment of In the Know with Joe the Pro. We have a couple of congrats to start our segment out. Brian Holthouse had a hole in one last month on hole number 17 on Tavern Creek. Way to go, Brian. Nice shot. The uh, sweeps money and the check is in the mail. And for those of you that were paying attention, Caden Fair was our second junior. Brooke Behrman competed a few years ago and Caden competed in the drive, chip and putt at Augusta National on Sunday, finished fourth overall which is fantastic, but you have no idea how hard it is to just get there. So congratulations, Caden, well done. It was fun watching you on TV. Uh, friendly reminder, we have our opening day tournament uh, scramble happening on uh, Saturday, April 20th. It'll be a lot of fun. Of course, there's a men's division and a ladies division, two separate, even though it shows that it's a mixed event. It actually is not mixed. It's just, uh, we will have two separate divisions. Also on that same day, we have our uh, first putting qualifier. So if you haven't participated in this in the past, I highly recommend it, it's a lot of fun. Two people can pair up, uh, you can pair up with your kids if you'd like. Uh, two kids can pair up, husband and wife, friends, whatever you'd like. We'd certainly love to have you competing in this. We will have two more qualifiers throughout the summer, usually one on uh, July 4th and another date uh, sometime in June. So hopefully you can do that. The finals are on the Thursday, uh, right before Labor Day. So love to have you compete in that event. All right, cart usage. We are still noticing that uh, there's a lot of single carts going out. Again, uh, just last week I saw four carts in one group. Our golf carts are not gonna make it uh, uh, through their lifetime if we continue this process. So really, we need your help. Uh, we need you to pair up when you're together. Uh, when you have a foursome, there should only be two golf carts. The board is directing me to charge people to take their own golf carts. And even if you're in the cart plan, you may see a $27 charge coming your way if you continue to take golf carts. I hate doing that. I do not want to do that. So please help us out uh, with this policy. Also, when you're driving the golf carts, uh, Dan and his crew are going to be putting posts out there. So please enter the fairway at that post and exit at the next post. Uh, trying to avoid, avoid worn areas, of course, new sod areas. Typically, uh, Dan and his crew will put out a uh, small white post with a green top, letting you know where those locations are. Uh, if there is not a post and you're able to go off the path, just pick a spot that isn't uh, very worn. We are, are not necessarily wanting you to go in where the turf stone is, because as you can imagine, that uh, those spots get very worn. All right, also filling divots, we want you to do that. Uh, now that we're off the path, it certainly makes it a lot easier. So we appreciate you filling div divots and certainly Dan, Dan's crew will uh, appreciate that help as well. And uh, finally, repairing ball marks. I played uh, uh, nine holes yesterday on Lewis and Clark. I went out there and my very first hole, I spent 10 minutes repairing ball marks from the day before. There was at least 30 ball marks that were clearly from the day before because they hadn't gotten a very brown just yet. So please, we need your help. Jessica's gonna zoom in on this old ball mark and a fresh one. It's kind of artificial. I threw a golf ball down to create it. Maybe a little hard to see, which is actually a good thing. That means the greens are nice and firm. Uh, when the greens are firm, sometimes your ball mark may be 20 to 30 feet away. So you might have to look for it. This spot right here is clearly one that did not get repaired from a few days ago. Uh, this one, it's a little hard to see, but you can uh, see there's a little indentation there. I'm gonna repair it. Some of you are gonna see that there's a new way to do it. You don't have to do it this way. I just think uh, it's actually a pretty cool way to do it. I learned about this last year. So you actually put the T in the center, create a circle there, and then from there, you're pushing in towards the center. Okay, that's how you repair a ball mark. But if short of doing that, always just pushing, you never, never, ever do you want to lift because that'll break off the uh, root structure. So we appreciate you uh, repairing ball marks out there. That's gonna create a nice smooth surface. Uh, we really appreciate you uh, listening in on this segment every week and look forward to talking to you again next week. Thank you.